Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2020 Coleman Light 2835BH. This is an awesome bunk model. You have a super slide with a dinette and a sofa directly across from the TV, a massive pantry and double over double rear bunks. Let's start out on my favorite part of any RV though and that is the kitchen. So as we take a look at the kitchen here, you will see it is a large L-shaped kitchen. One of the things I love about this setup is the fact they give you a sink top cover as well as a recessed cooktop with the glass cover. So all of this is great usable prep space. You'll also see that they utilize the back corner to the fullest by putting in an electrical outlet. So that way you kind of have a dedicated spot for your coffee maker, toaster, you know, whatever else that you want to put there again for me. I like caffeine, so it'd be my coffee maker, but uh, it is very easy to get to. If we remove the sink top cover, you'll see the undermount sink. Now they're able to undermount it because this is a seamless countertop. So you don't have any T-mold or anything popping off at the edges. And this sink has the, uh, the smaller bowl and the larger bowl. Personally, I prefer the bowls flipped around to so the larger on the left, just because I tend to wash on the left and rinse on the right. But you know, if I need to reverse things, I suppose it's not a big deal. High rise pull out faucet. The pull out I enjoy as well, especially if my coffee maker is right here because you can just pull that out, fill up the water basin. You don't have to take it off if you have a Keurig like I uh, generally take when I go camping anyway. Over to the this side. So the backsplash lights up. You can see that nice and decorative. As I mentioned, this just folds up like so. That will reveal your three burners. You kind of have that glass cover doubling as another backsplash there. The knobs on the Furion cooktop do light up and then you have an oven underneath if you want to do some baking. This little light control also controls the light in the oven so if you need to check your food you can just flip that on real quick. Underneath that you will see a fairly large drawer so that way you have a spot for some of your pots and pans. Three more drawers here, uh, full extension ball bearing drawers, plenty of space there for your flatware. You'll see this bottom one's a little bit deeper so if you have some larger items you can toss them right in there. And then underneath the sink. So this panel, we removed it so we could uh, get to the water heater. Normally that panel kind of blocks that off, but you will see that there is plenty of room there for a trash can. So that way you don't have to have one hanging out, you know, have it hanging over a handle or anything like that. Storage up top as well for your cups, plates, and bowls. Microwave over to the side, fully functional hood there with a light and a fan. And then you have the Dometic fridge freezer combo. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. Again, you'll see that that kind of has a stainless steel looking front panels there to help kind of blend in with the rest of the kitchen suite. Moving back is the entertainment center. And as I mentioned, the thing I love about this is the fact it is directly across from the sofa, which is very convenient as far as location. So that way you're not having to turn your neck to watch TV. Tied into that is this multimedia center here. Uh, you'll see this one has an HDMI port on there. It is also Bluetooth capable as that controls both the speakers in here as well as outside. You'll see you have a shelf here for any auxiliary equipment, some additional storage right down underneath. Beautiful flooring in here as well. Uh, it kind of has like that uh, almost like tile look to it, which is great. Super easy to clean. This one does have your ducted heat all the way throughout the floor, ducted AC in the ceiling. As we come around to the back side of the entertainment center, this is one of my favorite parts about this setup. Take a look at that pantry, it is huge. So you have uh, multiple options here. The shelves are movable if you wanna take them out, but you get massive pantry space. You have all the space up front, so you can have you know a broom or a mop or a vacuum right up front here. And it has the hanging rod, so if you're going camping in colder climates, you can hang up like your jackets and everything in there. Or if you just plan on going camping for a long time, you need more space to hang your clothes, this one has that option available. Main control panel is here, including your tank monitoring panel. The water heater does run off both gas and electric, and you can turn both of those on at the same time for faster recovery. In the back corner are your double over double bunks. Teddy Bear Bunk Series, nice and soft. 300 pound weight capacity on each one. You have a built-in ladder, so that way if you have littler kids, they can climb up into the top, no problem. They don't have to try to jump up there because oftentimes they struggle with that. And on the, the side right over here, both bunks do have dual USB ports. So if you need to charge cell phones or tablets, if it's a rainy day and the kids wanna play up there, you can do that nice and easily. 
in the very back, as we scoot back here, is your bathroom. So I'll sit on the toilet. Uh, it, it is a little bit tight here for me. You know, I mean, it, it's kind of a, because the angle they have it on, you know, I'm not quite sure if you're supposed to split, have your legs to one side. Um, not too terrible, though. I mean, it can definitely make it work. Plenty of shoulder space, which is nice. You know, my shoulder's not rubbing up against the wall. They were also able to put in a fairly large countertop. You can see all this over to the side. Little cubby hole there. Access to plumbing and some storage underneath. Good spot for your toilet paper or black tank chemicals. Of course, electrical outlet. Mirrored medicine cabinet. There is storage in there as well. Vent fan is directly above that. Now, this bunk model does have a tub, which I personally like when you're talking about family campers, because if you have smaller kids and, you know, they're not used to a shower, you can give them a bath. As far as height, I am six foot tall. I do have a little bit of extra space here in the skylight. So if you're six one, maybe six two, you can stand up right in the center. If you're, you know, six foot or shorter, you'll be able to kind of move all over. As you can see, even without the skylight, I can still barely just clear the ceiling there. But uh, you have the hand wand to make showering up a little bit easier. Then you have some shelves, of course, for your soap and shampoo. As we make our way back out, open this up. You'll see the hanging rod. Now, this is intended for kids' clothes. But again, if you want to use that pantry, you want to put hang some kids' clothes up there, you can do that. You'll see three more drawers uh, right down underneath. Thermostat around to the side, as I mentioned, that does control both your heat and AC. They're both ducted, and then right down underneath there is your electrical outlet. So I talked about bringing a vacuum along. That's where you would plug it into. Nice and low, you can vacuum the whole camper out. But, of course, the nice thing about being a newer camper and having so much linoleum here is that it cleans up very easily. As we take a look at the slide out, uh, this, as I mentioned, this is a super slide. So you will see the sofa here directly across from the TV. It is a jackknife style sofa which means it has a lot of storage underneath and it's very easy to access. Perfect spot for larger items like extra bedding, pillows, things like that. Both of the, uh, the armrests here are removable. So if you need to take those out to, so, uh, to have someone sleep here, you can. And the center console drops down. That way it kind of creates a pseudo theater seating, which is perfect because again, TV's right across. This is probably where you'll be doing most of your relaxing and TV watching later at night. You will notice windows all along the slide here, including on both sides. It's a nice deep slide. Those windows help bring in a lot of natural light. Little bit of storage right up top there. And moving further up is the dinette. So as far as size here, as you can see, you can easily sit four people, no problem. I have plenty of room from the table to my midsection here. Also a lot of space from the legs to the uh, tabletop, so no worries there. You'll see that these legs are removable, so that way you can drop the table down into a bed, throw, um, excuse me, throw the cushions on top, and that will create that additional sleeping space. Last thing I wanna to touch on, folks, is right up here, and this, of course, is the master bedroom. You'll see that you get the slider door, so that way you have added privacy. We make our way in. The Coleman Light has a 60 by 80 residential queen size bed. That's a pretty big deal. If you're a taller person, you're sick of your feet hanging off. As I said, I'm six foot. You can see here, have a pillow, can sleep nice and easily, no problems. Both sides also have nightstands. You'll see the drawer there. So, you know, if you need to put uh, like a magazine or a book or chapstick, something like that, TV remote, it's a great spot for it. Dual USB port so you can charge your cell phones. You will see wardrobes you can see right there hanging space so perfect spot to be able to hang up your clothes storage along the top tv on the far side so if you want tv in the bedroom that is exactly where it would go and lastly right over here is a secondary entrance so if you're staying up a little bit later than the kids they go to sleep you don't want to open the door right next to them you can enter right in through your bedroom now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the 2020 Coleman Light 2835BH. Right up front is a power tongue jack. This makes it a lot easier to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle because all you have to do is flip the rocker switch to raise and lower the tongue. You'll also see a light right up front for added visibility at night. Right behind that are two 20 pound propane tanks with the cover. A little bit further back, you will see rails there for your battery. And coming up the front is diamond dutch plating, helping to protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. You also see the LED lights that are inlaid right there in the front three quarter cap.
And coming right around to the side is solar prep. So if you want solar, all you have to do is buy the portable panels, plug it in right there, and it will trickle charge your battery. For the pass-through, you will notice it has a covered hinge, so that way you don't have a bunch of rust coming down your door. It is slam latch and it's magnetic, so you can put it up just like so. You don't have to worry about the kids coming and you know pulling and breaking a plastic clip or anything. And if you take a look inside, you will see how large that pass-through is. That's one of the things I love about the entire Coleman series, whether it's a Coleman Lantern or the Coleman Light, is that they have large pass-through storage compartments. Not just the size of the compartment itself, but a larger door. Now, of course, that does cost the manufacturer more money, but it's super convenient if you have bigger items like a grill, which this one does come with, or if you have uh, some of the bigger executive chairs, you know, it's not a, a small bag chair, this will allow you to actually go camping with those items. Right down underneath, you will notice that this one also has power stabilizer jacks. Now, bear in mind, those aren't for leveling. You still want to level the RV out, but once you do, you can extend those jacks down, and that will prevent the uh, RV from rocking all over as you're moving around inside. To get into this one, as I mentioned, you have two entrances. This is the secondary entrance right here, so it has your standard three foldable steps as well as the smaller grab handle. You get the upgraded steps and the grab handle in the main entrance, which we'll take a look at in just a moment. Fully laminated product as well. You will also see that this one has the power awning. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to go back in, and it has an LED light strip in there. And with that LED light, it doesn't matter if it's completely, if the awning is completely rolled up, partially out, or completely out, you can still use that LED light. Two outside speakers, are, which are controlled by that multimedia center inside I had talked about, but again, that unit's Bluetooth capable, so you can be out here underneath the awning and still somewhat control the music from your smart device. Fresh water fill. If you're going somewhere you don't have city water, you want to make sure you bring water with you, that is where you fill the fresh tank. You'll also notice electrical outlet here as well as your cable outlet. So that way if you want an outside TV, that's where you hook it up at. Aluminum alloy wheels. The great thing about that is they will continue to look gorgeous just like they do right now because aluminum doesn't rust. And speaking of aluminum, the upgraded steps also use aluminum treads. So same concept. It's not going to rust on you. They put the grip tape on here so that way if it's wet, you get a little extra traction. That in conjunction with this foldable grab handle give you excellent control when entering the Coleman Light. Also, they are very solid steps. It's the More Ride uh, step system. You can see, look at that. I can jump up and down on there. I'm over 200 pounds. The steps don't even really flex. Making our way back a little bit further, you get into the outside kitchen. This is one of my favorite things about a bunk model, of course. You have storage right up top. You can see here, as I mentioned, this one comes with the grill. The arm for that is right back here. We'll see that when we go around to the back. You have the, if I can undo the lock real quick. Oh, there we go. Helps if I go the right way. So you have the uh, pull-out countertop extension right here. So you have this workable prep space, which is wonderful. And then you have the wash basin here as well. This just plugs right in there. You have both hot and cold. When this fills up, you dump it out, rinse and repeat. Over to this side is your refrigerator. Uh, obviously, it's a good place to put condiments. You can put kids' beverages in there, beer, whatever else you need. Your secondary control, this will control the rear two stabilizer jacks. You'll also see the propane quick connect right down underneath. That is intended for the grill here, but if you want to bring your own or you have like a cooktop or a griddle or something you want to plug into that, you can do that as well. The grill that comes with this unit, as I mentioned, mounts right here on this arm. You can swing that around so that way it is on the camp side for you. That is mounted to the square tubular bumper, which has end caps, so that way you have a convenient spot to store your sewer hose. I do recommend putting it on this side so it's not near the grill side, but obviously that is a personal preference. The spare tire is also mounted to that uh, bumper, so this makes it very easy to access. And something you can't really see very well, but if you take a look underneath, you will notice this one has a fully enclosed and insulated underbelly. So that way it helps keep out a lot of the road grime, hopefully helps keep out some of the rodents in the off season, and it'll also help keep things warmer, your water lines and your tanks during the colder climates, during the colder temps. If you look right up top, you will notice the backup camera prep. If you want backup camera, having the prep makes it easier to install, meaning it'll save you money on labor. And on the off door side, black tank flush right here. So instead of sticking a hose down your toilet to wash out your black tank, 
you just plug that or just hook that hose up right there. City water inlet underneath that is the outside shower with both hot and cold water access. 50 amp detachable power cord plugs right in there and then your cable inlet is right underneath that. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2020 Coleman Light 2835BH. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.